up everybody welcome back to once again another video if you're new here my name is Madam Morris and in today's video I will be showing you something I've never shown on camera before I will be showing you my rock collection and I've been collecting rocks since I was like one so it's pretty big but this isn't everything it's just like the main parts of the collection so I hope you enjoy we were riding through the woods with our bikes we got scared when it got darker at night cause everyone and safety lights so we tried to use a flashlight as a guide and now i'm standing in an overcrowded train picturing the times we had as children while the rain is pouring down the windows and the people push the way i've seen better days i've seen better days take me back to my last week of the fundraiser next saturday i will be going to pet smart and donating all the money that we've raised so please help if you haven't already if you haven't heard i upped it up to a dollar so that will be happening next saturday i have a giant bucket over here full of the stuff so i'm just gonna pull out a random part of it and this right here first container each bucket i have labeled by date so this one is joe pole lake july 30th 2020 this one is full of all the fossils we f I, well, I found on the lake, well, on the sand next to it. And it's just a whole lot. This whole bucket is full of them. The next bucket is also from Jopo Lake. This one is not fossils, but it is just a lot of rocks. I have all the different colors of rocks, well not all of them, but this one is red. This one was part of a giant rock that was in the water. When it's in water, it is very, very slippery. I actually slipped on this one. This rock used to be bigger than I was, than I am, but this part came off of it somehow. So this is the Crystal Beach hat, and this is actually where all these shells in this container are from. There are just so many really cool shells, but I'll show you. There's just so many. This one is really, really big. I just collect everything. I also found one of the fossils at Crystal Beach, similar to the ones I found at Joe Pool Lake. I'm still not sure what these are called, so if you know, please let me know in the comments. This container is also from Crystal Beach. It has a lot of shells inside. On the bottom is green sand. And I just think this is really cool because I can just be walking in my room and this is just sitting out. There's so many different types of shells and everything. On my old channel, I made a video about going to Dinosaur Valley before it got deleted. While I was there, I collected a lot of rocks. And this is the big old container. There's rocks, shells, and lots of other stuff. It's pretty big. This is the size comparison to my head. You can put like two of my heads inside of this one. I'll show you what's inside. So this bucket right, sorry, this bag right here is really cool because this contains, I'm not going to name everything, but there is a really tall hill, not, not hill, a mountain that we climbed to the top of and this rock is at the very top. So that's the first mountain I've ever climbed. And then this is a, I think fossilized acorn. And then this is another fossilized acorn but it's not well, this is just a regular nut it's not as old and then i found some of the regular fossils that i find at like crystal beach and jopo lake and every other place i go to this bag is full of shells that i found if you look closely you can see all the shells hold on open it up so you can see better there's just so many i think it was like 197 shells that i got in total don't worry i wasn't taking all the things that there were these most of these are very tiny shells that like are smaller than my fingernail and i left all the bigger things there for other people to this thing might actually be stuck up <laughs> it came right out right when i said that it's really big i keep it in this plastic bag just like everything else i'm not quite sure what it is it's a giant rock with a circle perfectly in the middle 
So I'm not sure how that was made. It's obviously not from a human. It was like at the bottom of the river. I'm not sure. It looks pretty cool. And then I have this other bag. This is also from the top of the mountain that we went to. It looks really, really cool. Like I don't, how is that even formed? I'll take it out to show you. Like I know people can make walls, obviously. But how does nature make that though? That's just so cool. I don't know. I just think that's really cool to look at. There's a lot of other rocks still in here, but I don't need to show you every last one of those. If I showed you every single rock I had, this would be like a 10 hour video. But I'm just like telling you the basics of what I have and where I found it. There was someone mowing their yard across the street. They they actually just thought, so this is a good time for me to talk. I have some more containers in here. I have this clear container of just, this container was actually purchased on Amazon. But this is just all the cool rocks that I have found in different places that I that I put in here for like display. This is a very just smooth rock, almost like a pebble, but not exactly. Uh, this, hold on, let me bring it up. This is what the desk looks like right now. Four containers, one glass container, another plastic container, that big thing, all the bags, and then that right there, which I'm recording with right now. But this is the plastic container that I was talking about, and it just has like all those cool rocks in it. I promise you I'm not weird. I found this one time when we were out around in our neighborhood. I have a fossilized worm. I'm not sure if that's a fossilized worm, but it sure does look like it. Like, if you think it's anything else, please tell me because I'm really honestly not sure. And then this one kind of looks like a meteorite. I know it's not, but kind of looks like one. Please nobody comment that these are fake because I can promise you that all of these are 100% real. I have this little diamond right here. It's a clear one. It's not that big. It's a really tiny one. And then I have a bluish colored one right here. I have a lot of other crystals. I have this really nice red one. And then there's a teal one, which I think is personally really, really cool. I have a smaller one, which is clear. And then there's a brown one. And finally, I found one that is purple and white. So just everything is so cool. I just realized one of my containers empty. I lost something i'm gonna have to go back inside in a minute i left a lot of fossils instead so this is really really cool look at that it's perfectly smooth on the bottom but then on the other side it looks like a little dog laying down does it not hold on let me get the camera to focus look how cool that looks i have no clue what that is or how it was formed this is also something I found at Jopal Lake. I'm convinced it's a tooth because it hurts just holding it. And it's really sharp and it looks like a tooth. So look at that little pointed edge. That's really cool. I found another container from Jopal Lake, July 30th, 2020. This is a container of all the shells. That's just really, really cool. I have another container. I'm undoing it right now. And it has, once again, a lot of other cool rocks in it. This is one of my geodes, and I think it's really cool. Well, all geodes are cool, but just because of like, how sparkly it is. I like the clear color because geodes come in like a lot of different colors. I then have three pieces of pyrite, which is once again really cool. This is fossilized dinosaur poop. I have no idea how someone could come across this, but <laughs> they did. One of the last things I'm going to show before I go inside and get some more stuff is this fossil right here. If you have questions about any of this stuff, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer. This might sound crazy, but I actually have a Megalodon shark tooth as well. Obviously, I didn't go down to the beach and find a Megalodon shark tooth sitting there. It is from Fossa era, and 
fossil era, not fossil era. And they're a really cool place if you want to start collecting things. I don't buy all this stuff from there. Most of this stuff I found myself. It's inside of all this stuff, so it's protected. I just think it's really cool because all this stuff is genuine. So this is the Megalodon shark tooth. Sorry if the sun's on it. I'm outside, as you can tell. But the shark tooth is like bigger than my mouth. So you can't even see my mouth anymore. I mean, it's just really cool. It's in really good condition. And I just really, really like it. It was found in a river in South Carolina. And it's 2.6 to 15 million years old. The next thing I have is also from Fossil Era. It is a crystal cluster. It was found in, I don't know how to pronounce that. So can you see that? It's backwards, of course, but I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a really, really cool crystal. And then there's another one in the box. So it's like a two in one. This is an ammonite fossil and it was found in Madagascar. It dates up to 110 million years old. This is what it looks like. That's so cool. I'm fascinated with this stuff. I'm not sure if y'all are, but I, like, I'm just fascinated with all this stuff. And then last but not least, I have this right here. This is 380 million years old. I really don't know how to pronounce it. I made a video about it on my shorts channel if you wanna go check it out. It's just really, really cool. So I just have it in my room. And this is just like so cool having all this stuff. This is just so cool because this wasn't just like found like thrown over there in the yard. This is just really, really cool. I actually got this for Christmas because it's like a really cool collectible. Not a collectible, but something you can collect. You have the option to if you're like into this stuff like I am.